All right, guys, so we've got an exciting adventure planned for today. We're gonna to be going out into the middle of the Indian desert, and we're gonna be spending roughly 24 hours out there on a camel journey into the middle of the Rajasthani desert. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be fun. Right now, we're supposed to be meeting up with our Jeep, which is gonna take us out into the desert. Let's do it. Hello, Hello. namaste. Namaste. All right, this is our Jeep here. All right, guys, so we're in the Jeep right now, getting fueled up. This is Raj? Dad. Raj, nice to meet you. Nice to you. What was your name again, sir? Sandy. Sandy. Yeah. All right, Sandy and Raj. They're going to be our good time guides for the next 24 hours. Hello, Namaste. I don't know who that is. On our drive out, we stopped at a Rajasthani desert village. It was humbling to meet the family of one of our guides to get a glimpse of what life was actually like in the desert. We enjoyed drinking chai while sharing stories and insights with one another. You can watch the entire video of our time in the village here. Shukriya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Well, this is it. Bye bye road. Now we're in the real desert. We just stopped here in the middle of the desert to get some firewood because we're going to be cooking some meals tonight. No propane, no gas out there. Just the bushwood that we gather. That's what we got for tonight for our survival. That's what happens when you get a splinter doing the firewood run. Entering the sand dune area it means we're getting into the real desert. Okay, here? Here, our camp. We are sleeping tonight here in the desert. Been wanting to ride a camel all my life. It's okay, it's okay. It's finally happening. Okay, hold tight. Here we go. Hold tight, okay? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> this is different than riding a horse. Okay, apparently, if I fly this drone too close, I'm getting sent to Pakistan via the camel. Let's not do that. Pretty damn incredible. Riding a camel through the Rajasthan desert here in India, right on the Pakistan border. No, what's the camel's name? What's the name for the camel? Johnny and Rocky. Johnny? Yes. This one is Johnny and that one is Rocco. Rocky. 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 Johnny and Rocky.
good things come to an end, here we are. End of the camel ride. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> wow, okay. Good camel. They bite, huh? Don't touch. Don't touch? They touch here, but no here. They bite your finger off? Yes. Touch there. Don't touch by the mouth. Even you? No. No way. Don't touch a camel by the mouth. That's a good lesson from this video to all of us, isn't it? He's chewing all day the food. Yes. Where does he keep the food? In his mouth? Yeah, yeah, here. He keeps... Oh, it keeps coming back up. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. I can see him. He's still eating. He's been eating the whole time that we've been riding, but I haven't seen him stop to eat anywhere. He just has food in his mouth somehow. Thank you, camels. Thank you, guides. Good, good, good men. All of you. Camels included. Oh my God. Look at these things. Wow. It's different than riding a horse. I'll tell you that. It's really different. All right, so now we've got a night here in the desert. We're literally sleeping out here in the desert. We got Sandy here cooking dinner right now, and we're gonna have a nice meal. And we're gonna be chilling out, looking at some stars, the moon, and enjoying the desert vibes. Sandy, cooking food? Yeah. What you making? I made chickweed flour and pakora. Pakora and chickweed flour. With, with the onion, butter to cauliflower, mix masala with some chili. Okay. Nice. Chickweed flour, pakora. What are we make in the desert? Sounds incredible. Okay. Look Sounds at that. Good. Looks beautiful. Yes, and I make masala chai already here. Chai and pakoda and That's some snacks. Like desert magic. This I cook now. Desert magic. I like it. Something that is called desert magic is being shown to us right now. Oh, wow. Wow. What the hell? Now you see they are very small. Desert magic. So we're being shown some desert snacks right now. This one is called pakora. It's really good. What, what, what is inside? Like a lentil or? Uh, chickpea flour. Chickpea flour. And the magic, this one, the desert magic is the rice flour. Indians are some of the most creative cooks in the world. Indian food is out of this world. Namaste, brother. Namaste. Masala chais, desert magic, and pohora, as well as uh, very nice Indian tour guides. Absolutely amazing experience. Cheers from Rajasthan. Spent the next hour watching the sun go down while enjoying Indian snacks and drinking chai masala. The guys shared insights about what life was like living in the village, and we also told them stories about our own home countries. The guys got to hear Justin Bieber's music for the first time, and then we introduced them to Tinder. You know, the most important stuff. As it turns out, we actually had good reason to celebrate this evening. One of the guides that had joined our group later on had just found his camel, which he'd lost over one year ago. While driving by the Pakistan border, he saw his camel wandering in the middle of the desert by itself. He then spent the next three days traveling with the camel to come back to his hometown, which is when he stumbled upon us. In light of the big news, we decided to crack open a bottle of whiskey and enjoy some Kashmiri chadas over the campfire. We then got a lesson about the power of the desert mustache. And how it's like traditional, the desert men have the long beard, huh? Yeah. Always have. Long beard, big, big mustache. Mustache. Ah, yeah. Old school handlebar, huh? Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rajasthan like women all follow me, this guy. Ah, the, the Rajasthan women think sexy. Yeah, yeah, that's why my wife say maybe my husband, some girl is stolen. That's why they don't want long. So girl all follow me. Kamal, please, I want one selfie with you. Please, one selfie with you. They put Instagram, ID, Facebook, and my wife say, oh, my husband always, always famous. He's a desert slut. Desert slut, that's why they said, please. <laughs> then said, you can cut. These things. Now no more mustache. Now no more mustaches. Now no more sexy the mustaches. Oh no. You sad? <laughs> sad, sad. Yes. You want it back? We want it back again like this. <laughs> Wife is no happy. She don't want this one, huh? Yes, she, she, she don't want that. She want this. She want this. Is small. This, this is small. We are not like that. Not, not, not so sexy. Not so sexy. Only medium sexy. Only medium sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday again, huh? Someday again like someday. this, yeah. This is traditional Rajasthani food or Indian food? Yeah. 
Traditional Rajasthani food. Traditional Rajasthani. Yes. What 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 is Rajasthani food? You know, because Indian food is a bit different. What is Rajasthani? Indian food inside many uh, masala. Yeah. But we put like we are proud masala, and, and we eat like traditional. We cut like this chapati, and city you can eat with this kind of chapati. You know, this chapati is chapata. It's not chapati. It's chapata. Chapata. It's what's thicker or what? Thicker. thicker yeah. Thicker, we are right. real desert man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So we eat like desert kind of food. Yes. The desert made they eat lot of spice. More spice. More spice. Okay. Chili power 24 hour. Inside <laughs> the, <laughs> the Chili the power 24 hour. I like that. Eventually, we moved on to more serious conversations, and the guys shared their experiences with COVID and how much it affected their lives. While many of us in the West were fighting over toilet paper and hand sanitizer, these guys were going through a real struggle. After COVID coming, then we have two years very hard life. Right. Two years, no tourist. It's the main industry. Then we've look some job, another breaking a stone. Breaking stone. A stone. So it's like in in the mines. In the mines. Yeah. Let's let's help people come on the tour. Yeah. More people come support the tourism here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. It goes to support many families. Yeah. Uh, in many villages. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And people depend they on depend. it. If they don't have it, you cannot live, or you go work in the mine, which is not a good job. We not good to be doing some mountain, yeah. cutting, farming, but that's very hard job. Very hard work. Alright guys, morning from the middle of the desert. That's where we slept last night. Sunrise in the morning. Roughing it, but well worth it. I like tea. Morning masala chai with the sunrise here in the Rajasthan Desert. Got the desert dog here. These dogs live out here for 10 months out of the year. They just stay out here, live and chill. The guides that come here, like the dudes that are with us, dogs depend on them for their food, and I think even their water because there's nothing out here, like nothing. I asked what they do during the other two months because there's two months where the guides even go home because there's nobody here, uh, no, no, no tourists at all. He pretty much said dog rest during this time. These are not your Western dogs. You could tell they haven't had nearly enough affection in their life. He's a bit confused as how to approach getting pet. Do you know the name? Uh, no, no name. No name. Just brown dog, black dog. Yeah. <laughs> and how many years do you see here? Uh, I hope uh, uh, two years. The black one, two years. Yeah, yeah. This is two, uh, two years and uh, one and a half years. One and a half years for yeah. the brown one. Yeah. They're friends, huh? Yeah. Always together. Not a br uh, friends. Uh, Brothers. Brothers? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. The br brother dogs. Yeah. Every 10 months, they stay here for 10 months. Yeah. And then two months, they, they go. Yes. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care, guys. All the best, huh? Yes. Bye. Thank you. Awesome time with you, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Shukriya. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this tour. I'm going to drop the TripAdvisor as well as the Lonely Planet links in the description for this video. These guys really got hit with COVID and there was no tourism and they love being guides. So when they're not guiding, 
they had to resort to going to the mines and turning big rocks into small rocks to feed their families. So the fact that tourism is starting to come back is a really good sign. And if you guys come and support their business, that's a huge help for them. Please be sure to smash the like button, the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. Does a lot to support this channel. Really appreciate it. See you in the next video.